Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Football New South Wales coverage of the 2023 Futsal Premier League Open Men's Grand Final between Eastern Suburbs Sokoa and Mountain Magic. Eric Subihana on the mic here from Football New South Wales headquarters, Valentine Sports Park, of course, and we're set for an absolutely thrilling game in this, the Premier Game in Men's Futsal Competition for New South Wales. Uh, firstly, for Eastern Suburbs Sokoa, they got the better of their Heffron Centre mates mascot Vipers in yesterday's semi final, winning a seven goal thriller, four goals to three at Sydney Olympic Park. Well, for Mountain Magic, they thrilled spectators all season. They have the most prolific attack in the division. And after an exciting extra time victory for Mountain Magic over Enfield All Stars in yesterday's semi finals, that's how we got to where we are with Hakoa in the white jerseys and Mountain Magic in the green kits set to face off to decide who will be the champions for 2023. We've probably got just enough time to take you through the two lineups, so I'll just go through firstly for Hakoa. Number one, Noah Felix. Number four, James Reed. Number five, Cesar Perego. Number six, their captain, Robert Ezekiel. Number eight, George Lethbridge. Number nine, Samuel Janikas. Number eight, Emmanuel Janikas. Number 15, Jonathan Lynch. Number 21, Kobe New. Number 28, Mitchell Lowe. Number 66, Fabio Vieira Figo. Number 71, Adam Paulson. And number 99, Eliezer Defaia. While for Mountain Magic, their squad, number one, Mark Brackenrig. Number two, Alexander Glismas. Number three, Connor Hewitt. Number four, Jaden Dunn. Number five, Corby Fowler. Number seven, their captain, Jordan Guerrero. Number eight, Anthony Haddad. Number nine, Christopher Barbera. Number 10, Robson and Parasita de Souza. I think we'll just call him Robson from now on. Number 11, Nicholas Bacopoulos. Number 17, Jet McHugh Shaw. Number 18, Jamie Dibb. Number, and number 21, Vasos Kartambis. So, of course, that's the whole squad. So we'll wait and see who starts for each, each team. Although, as I did explain at the start of the open women's coverage, it's what I like to call ice hockey style subs. Unlimited interchange. And you can... You can make substitutions while the ball is in play. So that's certainly enough to keep everyone here on their toes. Uh, for Hakoa, Noah, Noah Felic is the starting goalkeeper. And you can see number four, James Reed. Number 15, Jonathan Lynch, also on the field. And James Reed getting ready to kick off. Well, for Mountain Magic, I can see Vasos Kantambis is their starting goalkeeper. Also, we have Jamie Dibb. Jordan Guerrero, Corby Fowler, and I think Christopher Barbera to round out their starting five. As James Reed plays the ball, intercepted. And now Jamie Deer forced backwards, and there's the back pass. There's the reminder of the back pass rule you're only allowed to pass backwards to the keeper once in any possession. And a good rule to keep the game moving. By the way, number 10, Emmanuel Janikas, also starting for Harkoa. As Reed plays it forward, and that runs through to Katambis. And number five, Cesar Perego, is the other Haka Osada. Apologies. It all happens a little bit quickly in futsal, but that's why we love the sport so much. Oh, for Mountain Magic. I said they had the best attack in the division. 79 goals in the 14-game regular season, and another three in yesterday's semi-final win. So 82 goals in 15 games. That's a lot. No by any stretch of the imagination, but it's Akoa on the attack. And he's Reed with a shot, and Katambis bats it up in the air, and no second chance for Akoa. So first shot of many this afternoon, it goes the way of Akoa. And by the way, it's Brett Nielsen just very kindly ducks under here our camera. Brett Nielsen, Football New South Wales photographer extraordinaire. We expect to see his photos of both the men's game and the women's game that preceded it up on Football New South Wales Futsal Facebook page probably as soon as tonight. Guerrero one-on-one -on -one with Reed, And Guerrero couldn't pick out Chris Barbera. But yes, back to that magic attack. 82 goals in 15 games. And they also have the top two scorers in the league. Anthony Dad has scored 23 times this season, including four hat-tricks, by the way. And... Jordan Guerrero, Magic captain, has scored 18 times in the 2023 season. Lynch. And Lynch outnumbered Guerrero. A big battle right in front of us. We've got the perfect view. As now it's Emmanuel Janikas across the face of goal. And Jonathan Lynch was never going to catch up to that one. Yes, we had the perfect view for that tussle. But as Jaden and I saw in the open women's game, we could be directly in the firing line. But luckily, after... The ball hit the camera. Camera's good to continue, so 
Whoever makes these cameras, you've done a good job. Oh, I was actually at Sydney Olympic Park to watch Hako escape. Yesterday is Felix, by the way. Hako goalkeeper made a number of good saves. Noah Felix. And yes. Mascot Vipers were the premiers. As Felix, in fact, now beginning the power play on the other side of the field. So I do love this part of futsal. Even the keeper can get involved in the attacking, although Felix now running back quickly as there's a turnover. But yes, Hakoa beat the Premier's mascot by four goals to three. And mascot had the best defense in the league going into that one. So a great effort by Hakoa to put four goals past them. Now, here's Lynch. Low shot. Don't think it's quite what contact he wanted. Katambis with the save off the boot and out for a kick in. Of course, just we will gradually refresh people of the dif differences in between futsal and outdoor, just in case there's some people less familiar with the rules. But by the way, as it's another save, it's 20 minute halves. And the boss, the clock stops every time there's a stoppage. So the final few minutes of a futsal half are like the final few minutes in basketball. It can take a very long time. And indeed, we saw that in the women's game with Harkos, with Mountain Magic scoring in the final minute of regulation time and in extra time to win by two goals to one over MacArthur Quake. Congratulations to them. By the way, 16 minutes and 42 seconds left. Dib, eyes up, looks for Guerrero. And there's a familiar combination given to Rara for anyone who's seen Mountain Magic men's team as Lynch with the block from Barbera. By the way, Mountain Magic going for their third trophy today after winning the Open Women's Grand Final just before this one and the Under-14 Boys Grand Final this morning. Both of, both of those games, by the way, won in extra time. So that is a little explainer as to why this game started well after the scheduled time of 4.30 because we've had four games go to extra time and we've run a bit behind schedule, but we hope you're enjoying our coverage here on Football New South Wales Socials. As Fowler, and yes, I don't know, I think it's a celebration. It suggests that Chris Barbera got the final touch, but Fowler did well to hold off a challenge, sent it across the circle, and Barbera was there for a tap-in. It didn't take long for a team to draw first blood, and it has gone the way of the league's top scorers, Mountain Magic, their 83rd goal of the season. And with 16 minutes and 15 seconds left in the first half, it is Magic leading by a goal to nil. But, as Matt Magic women's coach said, Julian Lamb, it's during the women's game, two minutes is a long time, so there's 36 minutes left. I suspect that's going to be the first goal of many. I hope you can. We hope you stay tuned. Thanks for your support, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. As it's around the keeper from Lynch, Reeds available for a moment in the circle, but Magic defending well. Now, potential counter-attack, and Colby Fowler has been pinged for a foul, just as it looked like Magic were going to have not just a counter-attack, but an overload. And by the way, it's a maximum of five fouls per half. Each foul ah. Each foul after your fifth in a half, so sixth, the seventh, etc., results in a 10 meter penalty to the other team. So, a little somewhat similar to that in basketball. As we see Adam Paulson, the key New Zealand international, on the field for, on the, sorry, on the court, sorry, for the first time today. Paulson wearing number 71. Also, Samuel Janikas, number nine, is on. And Samuel Janikas scored twice in yesterday's semi final. He's definitely got the eye for goal this weekend. <coughs> Hakoa sitting off just for now. This is Fowler. And Fowler, nice back heel. The Guerrero tight angle and cannot get past keeper and defender. Quick throw from Felix. And Samuel Janikas wants a decision that he's not going to get. It's about Hakoa. Memory serves me correctly, although to be fair these days that is a big if. If memory serves me correctly, they were also behind in yesterday's semi-final against Mascot, the Premiers, but Hako, a team with a lot of strength and character. As Adam Paulson loved that. As Adam Paulson loved that challenge. And Hako, very strong of character. And so they certainly won't let their heads drop. Of course, that's how they got to the big decider here. Guerrero. Dib, 
Under pressure from Paulson, who's stolen it. Adam Paulson puts it wide over the target. And Kartambas stepped out well, closed down the angle, forcing the Kiwi to shoot wide. And there. Chances in futsal can come just like that. So you've got to be on your toes for the whole of the game. There's number four for Magic, Jaden Dunn, on the court. And getting involved, but he's defended by Fabio at the expense of a corner. Now Dunn going backwards. And they'll get the kick in. Guerrero shoots from the touchline. Another block. And we saw that's a little taste of Hakoa's organization without the ball. And we saw that in yesterday's semi final when Mascot went to the power play, pulled the keeper out and played with an extra attacker. But Hakoa restricted the space very well. And that helped them secure the place in the grand final. As Fabio. And a little bit talking to for Jamie Dibb, but I think it won't be too long before we can continue. And it's going to restart with the kick into Hakoa. As Fabio waits patiently to get back underway, 14 minutes and 13 seconds left in the first half. Reed steps past Haddad, who's on the court for the first time. And Haddad immediately involved with the challenge. Done. And Haddad forced backwards. Uh, up against two. Didn't get the decision. So now Samuel Janikas. And walks the tightrope. Couldn't pick out a teammate. <clears throat> Alex Vlismas now. Vlismas wearing number two, I think, on the court. The magic. Haddad. And you can see, as you'd expect for the league's top scorer, Haddad, as he has a go for goal there, but you can see that every time he gets the ball, he's immediately getting attention from multiple Hakoa defenders. As I said earlier, he scored, Haddad scored four hat-tricks this season, and those aren't just three goals. I think there's a couple of four-goal holes in the game and a five-goal performance as well. He's been very dangerous this season. Big part of the reason Magic are in the grand final. Now Paulson. Paulson and looking for Shanakis. Katambis takes over. Now. Koa dispossessed Haddad again. Now. Perego. But now it's Haddad. And fakes the shot. Then he goes. Oh, oh I don't know if that was the shot or if it was the cleverly disguised pass for Jaden Dunn. But whatever it was, it was a close call, and Magic nearly found a quick equaliser. As we've had seven minutes of this first half, 13 is still to go. By the way, just another clarification for people less familiar with the rules of this competition. Yes. Each team gets one timeout per half. As there's Emmanuel Janikas on the ball now, number 10. Good turn, and Janikas now at the goal! And Hakov equalized Jonathan Lynch with a big celebration. But the work of Emmanuel Janikas in the build-up was sublime. Held up a defender, held off a defender, drew the keeper as well. And had the composure to play the pass. Leaving Jonathan Lynch with the open goal. Lynch made no mistake. And it is a 1-1 in the men's futsal Premier League grand final. There he is. Is futsal such a high-scoring, exciting game? You don't see a lot of clean sheets. And Emmanuel Janikas, by the way, is a little bit sore after setting up that goal, but I'm sure we'll see him back on the court before too long. But he'll be delighted, the Hakoa number 10, to have set up the equaliser. Now, just an example of what this comp can provide last year's grand final between Mascot Vipers and Apia just finished 10-6. As there's the Haddad back heel, Jaden Dunn. Great save from Felic. 
And Dib able to recycle. Now Dunn. <coughs> now Lynch, Marcola's goal scorer, has support. I think that's Kobe New. But Magic recover just in time. Paulson stopped by her dad. Uh, so saying, yeah, as you'd expect. Not many clean sheets in this competition, and so we won't see one today. And both teams keep up their record of scoring in every game for the 2023 campaign. One all in the men's futsal Premier League grand final between Mountain Magic and Eastern Suburbs Sakoa. Magic opened the scoring on four minutes through, we think, it was Christopher Barbera getting a touch at the far post. But in the eighth minute, Jonathan Lynch with the equaliser. Dunn. Now Dib. Back to Dunn. Goes down the line. And that good move is stopped. Now it's a good time to point out there's two Jadens today. Not just Jaden Dunn for Magic, but also Jaden, our camera operator. He's done plenty of fine work filming throughout the winter season and also helping us out the conclusion for the football campaign in the middle of summer. Paulson, drop of the shoulder and beats another challenge. Adam Paulson and it's pushed wide by Katambis. Oh wait, actually, yep. I think Magic is setting up for the corner. Well, Paulson anyway was going to sub off. So yes, in the corner is Connor Hewitt. He's on for Magic. James Reed back on for Hako as well. Janikas, it's deflected off the crossbar. And Dib, almost the unfortunate party, almost scored an own goal. But the deflection falls Magic's way. The score stays at 1-1. By the way, I missed me to not mention the two coaches who have done a fine job to lead the teams to this point. As Emmanuel Janikas keeps it in. Here's James Reed. Sorry. Here's James Reed. It's safe. By the way, the two coaches. Hakoa coached by Steve Janikas and Mount Magic coached by Brett Hewitt, the former futsal route. So now Vliznas. Hewitt. And yeah. as our equipment goes is under threat again. It's going to be Connor Hewitt with the restart. Lismas. I think he was looking for Robson. Oh, that was cleared away. 10 minutes and 17 seconds left in the first half here. Won all the score between Magic and Harkoa. Now Vlismas, read with the pressure, but it runs through. That's a pretty comfortable one for Katambis. By the way, it always fascinates me. The majority of keepers in futsal do it barehanded, despite the close proximity of the shots. You saw that in the women's game as well. Brianna Clark and Jordan Wiseman, the two keepers there, both going barehanded. Uh, all these keepers certainly braver than I am, that's for sure. Robson. Robson with a step over, but read perfectly by uh, Cesar Parego. Lismas takes a rest. And uh, we're going to see Nicholas Bakopoulos on for the first time in number 11 for Magic. But that's, I think that went out before the tackle. Akoa ball. So Samuel Janikas. Is, well, he'll be the next man on, but number 66 for Hakoa, Fabio Vieira Fio on the court again. Nice first touch, positive first touch from James Reed, and a shot that flashes across the face of goal. Fast, fast paced game, very physical, played in the right spirit so far. And the foul count. There's only one foul so far. One foul gone against Magic, so. At this stage, doesn't look like, as Felic sees that out, he shepherds that out. At this stage, neither team look, appearing to be in foul trouble, nowhere near the five foul maximum for the half. One-two there, and Emmanuel Janikas 
who was walking pretty toey there. But Katambas has done just enough. Hakal will step up. We've seen the cue to press. And it's Magic holding on the ball. Dib across the court. Guerrero, but that's intercepted by Samuel Janakis. And then overcooks it very slightly. Patambas takes over. Dib, I think he was thinking about the quick ball, trying to pierce that Hakal defense. Uh, Magic going to take it a little bit easier for now, but. Now they step up the pace again. Good sweeper keeping from Felic. Putting it into the net. That protects the spectators from any stray balls. And a very brief example of why that net is very, very necessary. Tony Hewitt looking to create a chance. Nice touch from Samuel Janikas. But Bacopoulos. Just a little bit quicker that time, Good Shepherd. Seven minutes and 51 seconds left in the first half. Now, a power bench. Urging the place to step up. Seeing if they can force a turnover in a good position. And Fabio appears to have done just that. That's Bacopoulos in there as well. And now Katamba is taking over. Quick throw, Guerrero almost. Almost with the touch there. And it's one of the things I love about futsal, how the keepers are very in tune with not just shot stopping, of course, the primary job, but also the opportunities for quick counters. You see a lot of quick throws from keepers to try and catch the other team off guard. Lynch. And Emmanuel Janikas can't catch up to that one. I think we're going to see Corby Fowler come back on the court for Magic before too long. Seven minutes left in the first half. And now here's Guerrero. Guerrero. Going back to the left. Second defender is Lynch. Strong tackle. Now, handball against Guerrero. Now, Samuel Janikas coming off. Adam Paulson's back on the field. For Hako, also Cesar Parego replacing James Reed. Now, it's Magic stepping off just for now. Paulson considers his options. Back to Emmanuel Janikas. Now, Parego, quick feet. And now Emmanuel Janikas running down the touchline. He's won the free kick. And now Magic's third foul of the game, of, of the first half. And opportunity from the free kick. So now, even more so than an outdoor, the goalkeeper's very, very specific with how they want the wall to be placed. So there's finer details that make the difference in this game. Katambis wants two in the wall. Uh, it would be possibly Paulson, but more likely to be Perego. No, Perego runs over. It's Paulson. He wins the corner. Now, back to Paulson. And he goes through the crowd. Good save from Kata Katambis. And Dib just goes for safety. Cleared into the wall. Daniel Janica is going backwards. It's Paulson. Can they invite Magic to step up just enough to create that space? That's what Paulson tried to do. And instead, it will be a, a Magic ball. Yeah. Jet McHugh Shaw, number 17. His first action uh, for Magic 
in this game. Barbera could be intercepted by Lynch, and Lynch has been pulled for a foul. So, Akoa's first foul of the opening period. And Lynch nearly had great intentions. He read that pass really well, and he almost ended up with a one on one opportunity there. McHugh Shaw looking for Fowler. It's defended by Perego. Now Katambis for Magic. Five minutes and 35 seconds left in the first half. And thanks for joining us. Whether it's on the Football New South Wales Futsal Facebook page or the Football New South Wales YouTube page. Eric Shibihano here on the mic live from the Valentine Sports Park for the Men's Futsal Premier League Grand Final. Barbera with a left foot strike. Goes across the face of goal. Low. Felic appeared to have the angles covered. <clears throat> Paulson. Lynch now. And Lynch back to Paulson. And Paulson running all the way across the court. He's Kobe New. He's up against three players. So Barbera needs to head it away. And Paulson, New keeps, sorry, keeps it alive. And that's Paulson sending a shot wide of the target. <clears throat> and to the final five minutes of the, of the opening period. But... Five minutes to go in the futsal half. It's like it's like when I say I'll be ready in five minutes. There's still a long time left. Yeah, Kobe New. And Samuel Janikis. And New. And they, he's hit the scoreboard. It's still working. That's good. Also, today's timekeeper, Jackson Mackey, appears to be okay. It's good. We can't really, don't think we can restart until we make sure that that equipment's okay. But it's all good. Yes. Especially with stop clock, we kind of need that thing to be working. There we go. So, the ball hit the camera in the women's game. It's hit the scoreboard in this game. I wonder what's next. Get the feeling I'm going to need to duck at some point. Anyway, he's Adam Paulson. Now as Magic try the high press, Reed. Reed, he's coughed it up. Uh, McHugh Shaw. And yes, yeah, Paulson using his speed defensively. It wasn't did not give any time at all to Corby Fowler. By the way, if you've just joined us, it is one all between Magic and Hakoa. In the Futsal Premier League Grand Final, Magic opened the scoring through Christopher Barbera. Hakoa equalized via Jonathan Lynch. Now Fowler holds off Paulson. He's outnumbered though, even so. Fowler putting in enough of an effort to win the corner kick. It's Samuel Janikas taking no chances, clearing it behind. Three minutes and 37 seconds left. And a shot from McHugh Short takes the deflection. And despite his body weight going the wrong way, that's an excellent save from Felich. He's protected the near post. And no, no unfortunate own goal there. McHugh Short tries again, smashes it into Paulson. And let's see, is that a corner? No, it'd be kicking. Fowler. And uh, across from McHugh Short. His Haddad. Magic on a handball call, which they're not getting. But Haddad, he hasn't given up on it. Now Paulson. And Paulson. He's um, not able to beat that challenge. And, well, McHugh Short. Ping for the pork. I 
guess is the rule. It's got to be one. It's got to be one continuous motion, and that's resulted in the turnover. Emmanuel Janakis, and oh, almost, almost got past the dad there. Good to see the teams being so fiercely competitive. Yeah, I like a physical game. But hasn't boiled over into something more than physical, which is what we like to see. Just the correct level of intensity out there. Haddad with a shot. Reed tracked him all the way. Blocks the shot. Is that the corner? Yeah, I think it is. That's how Hako appear to be setting up. In two minutes and 50 seconds left in the opening period. Cut back to Haddad. Fowler looking to keep this move alive. Samuel Janikas does well and almost found Jonathan Lynch. Now, we'll go on. Dib left to Fowler and Fowler. It's the net. It's the net behind the half dollar goal. And these nets surrounding the court certainly getting a workout today. Noel Felix's palms also getting a workout. But the Hako keeper's got the angles right there. Corner to Magic. Now, we'll go on. Guerrero, shot blocked by Reed. Alex Blismas getting ready to come back on for Magic. He's about to say the next stoppage, but as I said earlier, doesn't need to be a stoppage. Haddad, and that one was defended by Lynch. Now Samuel Janikas up against three almost, and tries to hit the afterburners. Uh, strength in numbers, winning the battle for Magic. As yes, Alex Blismas back on the court. And Corby Fowler has been given a rest. Final two minutes of the first half here, still one all. Magic on the move. Dib, Dib, they let that run out, so that's uncharacteristic from those two. And in fact, we will see a timeout. So I'll just wait to see the signal and who called it. Okay, maybe we won't. Well, whatever it is, it's a timeout. Not sure which team called it, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a short 60 second break. Uh, a chance to recap for those of you who might have missed the earlier action. A minute and 51 seconds left in the opening period here. And it was Mountain Magic who opened the scoring in the fourth minute through Christopher Barbera. Hakawa equalized in the eighth minute through Jonathan Lynch. So a game that is very finely poised and well, there's a long way to go in this first half, let alone in the rest of the game. see the storyline change a lot more times before the full-time whistle, I'm sure. Especially, probably worth, look, possibly getting ahead of myself, but worth pointing out the prospect of extra time. It's what we saw in the women's grand final with Mountain Magic beating Quake, MacArthur Quake by two goals to one. And also in the Magic men's semi-final yesterday, they defeated... Enfield 3-1 after extra time. There's the first time shot from Blismont with sails over. Great work from Guerrero. He had the vision, despite being covered by two plays, to see the opportunity across the court. Blismont, Blismont's not too far away from hitting the target. Lynch, and did he keep it in? Last touch off Lynch. So, Magic getting the job done defensively. Final 90 seconds of the first half. Guerrero. Disguised the ball well. Haddad keeps it in play. But he's pinned up against the corner. And Haddad wins the corner kick. Guerrero from way out. Good save. 
Felix does well. Using the feet that time. And like all good keepers, using every part of his body to protect the goal. Okay, I'll force it backwards now. That's the one back pass that they're allowed to dispossession. Katambis goes long, too long. But thumbs up from the Magic Captain Guerrero saying that Katambas had the right idea. Fifty two seconds left. Lynch. And Guerrero defending now. Reed pressed by two. Now that's a nice move. And Lynch almost got the touch. And Lynch's run across his eye line didn't distract Katambis. He's fielded the ball there. 32 seconds left. Alex Blismas. Blismas, and it's parried, but parried wide. In fact, it stayed in play. And. Nice. Uh, James Reed. Very uncharacter uncharacteristic misstep. He's had a good game so far, but. A pass off target as Guerrero spins away from Samuel Janikas, but not Reed. And Reed leading the counter attack. Emmanuel Janikas back to Reed. Guerrero with the challenge. Now here's Robson. Jamie Dibbs streaming through the middle. Good defending from Perego. Reed back the other way we go. And Reed, it's loose. And Blizmas sends it away. And that is the end of a very, very nice opening period of futsal, especially for the neutral. It's one all as the teams head into the dressing sheds between Mountain Magic and Eastern Suburb Sakoa in the Men's Futsal Premier League Grand Final for 2023. Chris Barbera scoring for Magic. Jonathan Lynch scoring for Hakoa. This is Eric Subihano on the mic, live from Fort Valentine Sports Park in Glenwood. We'll take a short break, and then we'll be back for the second half. Welcome back to the coverage of the Men's Futsal Premier League Grand Final for 2023. We're just about to start the second half here at Valentine Sports Park. The score is 1-1 between Eastern Suburb Sakoa and Mountain Magic. Hakoa in the white jerseys, Magic in the green jerseys, and Magic getting ready to start the second half. Eric Subihana here with the commentary. Thanks so much for joining us, whether you tuned in on the Football New South Wales Facebook page or the Football New South Wales YouTube page. Uh, for Magic, looks like they're five to start the second half. Number five, Corby Fowler. Number nine, Chris Barbera. Number 18, Jamie Dibb. And number seven, Jordan Guerrero. With number 21, Vasos Kakambis in goal. Uh, for Hakoa in goal, it's number one, Noah Felic. And looks to be number 10, Emmanuel Janikes. Number four, James Reed. Number 15, Jonathan Lynch. And I think number five, Cesar Perego. That's the five for Hakoa. Now, Barbero with a nice touch around the corner, and Fowler, well, these two almost getting each other's way, but Fowler, good technique there. And they nearly create a chance, but there's the clearance there to end that magic attack. And finally poised here, obviously, score at 1 1. Let's begin the second 20 minute period, and it really has been a day for extra time. Four games already going past regulation time today. And Fowler. <clears throat> Back to Dib. And Guerrero. Nice. Lost the ball under pressure from Emmanuel Janikas. A minute, or just over a minute in the second period. And now, Barbera almost had the interception. And you can almost see his eyes light up at the chance to be through on goal. But uh, just skipping away from him. Now, Cesar Perego, number five. Emmanuel Janikas looking for options as Magic gradually step up. That will run through to the keeper, Cartambis. Yes. 
You might be able to hear the voice of Magic Coach Brett Hewitt just, uh, giving the instructions to his team. Barbera. And Guerrero back to Dib. Now Hakoa stepping up gradually as Magic try to unpick the lock here. Guerrero runs past the ball. Magic staying patient. Now Barbera gets past Reed and he goes from way out. Did that take a save from Felix? Yes, it did. Will be a corner, though. I thought so. That was a great save from Noah Felic. Uh, very good goalkeeping in yesterday's semi final against Mascot as Guerrero shoots, blocked by Emmanuel Janikas. And Noah with another fine save in what has been a weekend to find shot stopping for Hako as number one. Guerrero now. And Barbera, I think it might have been the reverse pass. He disguised it well, but the pass didn't hit the mark. Uh, rolling subs, of course. Number 66, Fabio Vieira Fio. Back on for Hakoa. And, uh, Adam Paulson as well. And it's, it's a sore one for Fabio. And we'll see if he's okay. He's getting up, so that's good to see. Of course, these futsal floors, these futsal courts, not very forgiving. But Fabio's okay to continue. Paulson uh, putting the pressure on, but Guerrero gets past him with the 1 2. And Guerrero, he goes for goal. And Fabio with the block. And you can tell. I like that block. Guerrero looking to add to his tally of 18 goals for the season. But not to be that time. Back to Guerrero. Now Samuel Janikas. As I said earlier in the broadcast, scored two very key goals in the semi-final victory yesterday. A very dangerous player, and Magic need to keep an eye on him whenever he's on the court. But now it's Magic with the ball. Fowler spins away from a challenge. Now Guerrero. Dib. Goes back to Guerrero. Magic showing more patience, which they need to. Not a lot of space. Barbera goes for goal. Did it get a touch? No, it did not. say that's a little victory for Harkoa as Magic end up opting for the longer range shot instead of something from a little bit closer <laughs> 16 minutes and 20 seconds left in the second half 1-1 in the 2023 men's futsal Premier League grand final between Mount Magic on the ball right now and Eastern Suburbs Harkoa done Played out there, but then uh, another good defensive play from Samuel Janikas. Guerrero. Everyone back in defense for Hakoa. Done. Now Guerrero. Fowler. Quick feet. Hits the deck. And what's the decision? The decision is a free kick right on the edge of the circle. I was waiting to see if it would be a five-metre penalty, but no, it will be a free kick. But still a very good opportunity. Noel Felic now organising his wall. Wow, it's Magic's job to find and find some kind of gap so they can retake the lead. And you may even see the keeper charge up but in fact they're just going to leave it to Haddad and he's going to blast it you suspect he's Anthony Haddad blocked blocked by Felic celebrates the save bit of a fist pump now Guerrero 
goes back to Dib. Haddad drops the shoulder. Could be a chance. Good save from Felic. And that's going to hit the net at halfway. So that'll be magic ball kicking on the halfway line. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually a chance for both teams to make multiple subs. Yep, game certainly does keep you on your toes. He's done. Guerrero and Haddad back to goal, marked tightly, very tightly by Reed. And uh, Jamie did tackle, ruled to be clean by the officials. So, uh, Magic once again trying to figure out the, this puzzle that is Hakola's defense. keeper has been good, but equally they've been good in defense. They've been good without the ball in terms of making magic, in terms of limiting clear cut opportunities. Now the one two with the second ball, the return ball just skips away from Lynch. So it's back with Katambas. About five minutes in the second half, just a little bit under 15 minutes to go. Haddad holding it up, doing it well. Good target play from Haddad, but then there's the loose pass. And I think, he, I think that's Robbie Ezekiel on the bench, just uh, offering his encouragement to his teammates. There's another one, Kobe New hitting the net at halfway. By the way, while well, it's a little bit of a breather, keep an eye out for the review of both the Open Women's and Open Men's Grand Final from today on the Football New South Wales Futsal Facebook page. That'll be available tonight. And a big shout-out to Justin Smith, the Futsal Premier League reporter, for his work all season. Now, Hakoa. Well, look briefly like I had an opportunity, but it was Haddad back in defense. And Div drop of the shoulder. That's your one back pass. And then keeper to keeper. Although Justin Smith did say in relation to the stream, as the ball hits the net again, Justin Smith saying, telling me there's this annoying voice of someone trying to describe the action. Relax, Justin, I'm doing my best. <sighs> my friends are so mean. Anyway. <laughs> Good shepherding from Reed. Justin Smith doing a great job covering this competition. And of course, a, a shout out to the other competition because the Futsal Premier League 2 Grand Finals on it were also held today, so the match reports for them, Open Women's and Open Men's, also available on Football New South Wales Futsal Facebook page. Those will be written by Justin Davies, because apparently Football New South Wales media doesn't function without someone named Justin. Now, Jaden Dunn. Beat the first defender, Kobe New, but not the second. Good covering from James Reed to help out his teammate. So it's 13 minutes and 12 seconds roughly left in the game. And certainly Hako have been policing the play just in front of their circle very well. Magic with a lot of possession, especially in the second half, but been made to work for their chances. Blizmas, nice pass to Dunn. Haddad gets it out of his feet brilliantly. And he wants a touch. Is, is he going to get it? I think that's the decision, yes. So Haddad got the quick shot away. And you can see why he's the league's top scorer. He play like that. He got the shot off in a flash, even under pressure. Nearly gave the keeper something to do, but there's still something to do for Hakoa defensively with this magic corner. Haddad, uh, yet another time. It's probably been his experience the whole season, to be fair. Receiving attention from multiple defenders. He's kept the ball.
Haddad playing the target role once again. Goes back to Dunn. Dunn again. Haddad couldn't bounce it back to Dunn. So now it's Lynch. Lynch skips past the challenge. And Lynch, Samuel Janikas now. Fascinating this stuff as the team's taken in turns to break through those defensive structure. Kobe New on a bit under pressure. Decent pass to Reed. Better than decent and Reed secures the ball. So now Huckhole is turned to attack. And so far at least, although there's still time for plenty of goals. In fact, there you go. Perfect example of being able to sub while the ball's in play. The play with the ball just saying, my turn to decide it's his turn to have a rest. Just dribbles to the sideline and gets replaced. Now, Samuel Janikas, pass the tackle. He scores! Samuel Janikas has done it again. That is a brilliant goal. The acceleration was brilliant. Too fast for the defense. And the finish was absolutely perfect. Hakoa have come from behind to take the lead. And it is Samuel Janikas' eighth goal of the season. Absolutely sensational work from Hakoa's number nine. And with 11 and a half minutes left to go. It is Hakoa leading Mount Magic by two goals to one. Now, so whistle, what's the whistle for? Oh no, it's just, just to signal the restart from the Hakoa keeper. Now, Hakoa, they were victorious the last time they were in a men's football Premier League Grand Final back in 2019. Defeating Inner West Magic by four goals to three. Long way to go. But they're in a good position at this stage to add another trophy to their collection. But so much futsal left to be played here. Fabio and passes a link up so Paulson needs to be strong here loose ball falls to Bakopoulos and now chance maybe it's Connor Hewitt now that's a I think the first tackle on Hewitt is the one that's going to be called as the foul and the foul count currently standing at two fouls for Hakoa in the second half nil for Magic with 10 minutes and 41 seconds left in the second half. By the way, that five foul maximum, that's the second half plus any extra time if we have it. But we'll get to that if the scores are level at the end of regulation. Uh, Jordan Guerrero. He's taken charge, taken responsibility for this set piece. Two, one in the wall. And low shot. Oh, yes, there it is, Jamie Dib. He disguised it brilliantly, did Jordan Guerrero. It was a pass instead. Jamie Dib converts from close range. And Mount Magic weren't behind for long. Guerrero, so often a goal scorer. This time he's the provider. It's two all here between Mount Magic and Eastern Suburbs Hakoa. That ball went oh, went out, and it's magic ball. Hewitt, ball down the line, keepers. Oh, Noah Felix off his line incredibly quickly. Well, what's the call here? Because I thought that was a great tackle from the Harkoa keeper. Yep, I think it's... It's all good. Huckle is just going to make a sub with Lynch coming back on, replacing Fabio. Now, of course, the five seconds to restart. Well, that won't start, obviously, until this conversation has ended. In the corner, Brett Nielsen. Waits patiently for the next killer photo photograph. Guerrero. Now, no room. No room for Bacopolis to return the favor. Now, 
And a cute angle off the bar, and Connor Hewitt could convert from the follow-up, but Johnny Guerrero from an almost impossible angle nearly gave Mountain Magic a lead. It's building up nicely, possibly to another grandstand finish like what we saw in the women's game. The supporting run come. Paulson instead goes back to Emmanuel Janikos. That's the number 10 again. Nice chip ball. Good touch from Lynch. Here's Lynch and he's put it over. That's nice play. And Akol waited for the right opportunity. So that was an excellent pass from Emmanuel Janikos. A pass worthy of the number 10 jersey. And Jonathan Lynch, good touch off the chest as well. He's put it just over. Of course, the Magic fans will say, good pressure from the keeper, Vasos Cartambis. He was off his line very quickly. Guerrero's been two, and Guerrero sends it just wide, but almost, the Mountain Magic captain almost made something out of very little there. Nine minutes and 30 seconds left. <clears throat> discussion about where they wanted the pass to be played and you don't get much of a time to take a breather that's for sure Bacopoulos and Bacopoulos shot from the touchline easy save Lynch running all the way across the court trying to drag defenders out of position Paulson here's Paulson and that's a foul It's just going to be a foul. We're not going to see a card. It adds one to the foul to count. So Magic's first foul of the second half. Assuming you've read the scoreboard correctly. Yeah, foul count is Hakawa 2, Magic 1 at this stage. But the most important tally is 2 all. Paulson. What will he do from this free kick? Across to Emmanuel Janikas. And Janikas oh, ooh, almost wrong footed. Almost wrong footed. Katambas, bit of disguise on the shot. And then safety first from Felix to his opposite number. Bakopoulos, it's opened up for a brief moment. He sends a shot into the wall. Yes, it's going to be a yellow card for, I think, for Emmanuel Janikas. He's left something in late. Oh, he's left something late there in Bacopolis. He's uh, checking it, but it's not going to boil over, so... And, well, this ref's just getting over to calm. And to calm Bacopolis. And it will be <coughs> magic free kick. Have a yellow card for Samuel Janikas as well. Yeah. That'll be a free kick. Guerrero, well, he set up a goal with the last free kick. And Felic. Yeah. Well, we might see a magic timeout before this happens. Yep, that's it. So, Brett Hewitt. Brett Hewitt has sensed this is an opportunity. So, we'll have a 60 second timeout. Magic using their timeout for the second half. A chance for a bit of a recap in case you've missed any of the action in this excellent game here. And currently two all between Eastern Southern Sakoa and Mountain Magic. Magic taking the lead through Christopher Barbera and Hakoa equalizing through Jonathan Lynch. So one all at half time. And Hakoa had the lead briefly after Samuel Janik has made a 2 1. But there's an almost instant reply from Mount Magic via Jamie Dibb. And so that's how we got to this scoreline 2 all with 8 minutes and 45 seconds left to play. And just another wrap-up earlier. And, of course, if you haven't seen these streams, they will be available on both Football New South Wales YouTube page and the Football New South Wales Facebook page to catch up. But, yes, earlier in the Open Women's Game, 
of the Open Women's Grand Final. It was Mountain Magic defeating the Carpet Plate by two goals to one after extra time. That was a very good game indeed. Now well, we're back. Back. And Jet McCushaw is now on the field now. I if this, because he is left footed, so it's different. Maybe they like this angle a little bit better with a left footer taking the free kick. Deep and Guerrero looking for any scraps. And Gags outside the circle is another option. So, of course, the timeout is given that Brett here with a chance to tell them exactly what he, what he wants to be done here. Disguised to. And Guerrero and then Hakoa stand firm and keep has got to be out quickly. Jet McCushaw ping for an off the ball foul. And also back off. He's also back to sit on the bench. <clears throat> Once again, who'd be a referee? Huh? Someone with more composure than me, that's for sure. That's all sorted out. We'll restart with our Hakoa set piece. Terego to Reed. And back to Lynch. Reed. A ferocious work from Guerrero. And Guerrero wins the free kick. That's Hakoa's fourth foul of the second half. And so that five foul mark coming up there. Coming up. With a long way left. That was good work from Jordan Guerrero. Uh, there's uh, yeah, some sweat on the court that we got to clean up. Yes. Uh, Jordan Guerrero, who won that free kick, uh, showing he can both defend and attack, which of course pretty much mandatory to play this game. Dad thought about turning to face the defense instead goes backwards now the forward impetus coming from Guerrero and it's a foul from Jonathan Lynch that's the fifth foul so every foul after that from Hakoa if they commit fouls such a foul would be a 10 meter penalty Eight minutes and five seconds left in this half. And again, it's Guerrero and Dib discussing this set piece. Sorry, no, Guerrero, my, my apologies, Guerrero and Jet McHugh Shaw discussing this set piece. Wow, Felich uh, thought about two in the wall now. He's pulled back to one in the wall, so Jonathan Lynch, the one player wall. It's a bit of a different approach to the last set piece they had in a similar position. What will Jet McHugh-Shaw do here? Goes for goal to the near post. Felich saves. Back to Dib. Haddad out of the feed quickly. Loops up and... Oh. Not often you see in futsal, the keeper calling for a ball in the air and catching it. Work now. And Jamie Dib into the book. There for that foul. So Magic's third foul of the second half. Now, that's, that's 
against the net in front of the spectator area here at Downtown Sports Park. The tackle from Perego. And Perego. And there's more defensive work from Guerrero there to force the turnover. And I don't know if anyone speaks Portuguese, but if you do, Guerrero is the Portuguese word for warrior. Jordan's certainly been a warrior today. Her dad shoots, hits the side netting. Always turned to build that from the back. That's a nice pass. Samuel Jankis using his speed. He's got his foot a little bit under the under the ball. Robson against Reed and Reed. He's won the free kick. So five, that's fourth foul for Magic now. And the odds of us seeing a 10 meter penalty just get a little bit higher. Six minutes and 51 seconds left to go. Adam Paulson in seven, number 71 back on the court now. Reed, nice touch on the pass. Nice, nice touch off the chest there from Samuel Janikas. But now Guerrero with two options to his left. Guerrero, nice move. Got the eyes up. Is Guerrero. And he sent it way across the face of goal. He had a player coming in at the back post as well. He's uh, gone through everyone. In fact, actually, Magic Ball. So must obviously has taken a touch of Harkoa. Another chance for Magic, but that was wonderful from Guerrero. Pinned up against the touchline. Breeze past the defender. And nearly put Magic back in front. Now, great turn for Guerrero, chance, and a save from Felich, loops up, and from the Hakol perspective, it's for temporary safety, but emphasis on the temporary there, and Guerrero's really come alive in the second half, once again, pulling the strings for the team in green. The shot, and that definitely came through a crowd, so that's an excellent save. Cut back, Div, and now uh, the Magic Skipper. Oh, awkward one off Robson, and to the last touch will to be off Robson, so Harkoa kicking. Six minutes and 14 seconds left. Can't pick, it up, pick out a teammate. Now Robson with a bit of space, low shot, and then Jamie Dib, just like as he did for the equalizer, in position at the far post. This time the ball does not come his way. Guerrero. This time the ball gets away from him. That's staffed up by Dib. Magic on the attack again. And Fowler back on the court. Nicola restricting the space. Making Magic think about it. Wrapper and run from Guerrero. Bala passed that up. Now Dib plays it forwards. And it goes through to the keeper. Quick throw. Kobe New now. 
Dakota's turn. Try and find a gap. Lynch. And the ball falls just about to Magic. In Magic's way. Robson. Little step over. Fowler. Covered by multiple defenders. Passes out of trouble. And Paulson blocks this pass. Four minutes and 41 seconds left. Dib into Robson. Trying to play as the target for now. Now, Dib doesn't make it stick under pressure. That magic kick in. Really compressed there. Not a lot of space for Magic to work with. Now Paulson going the other way. Paulson loses out. So is Dib. A couple of options to Robson. Here's Robson. And Dib can't play it back to Robson. Now Adam Paulson should keep this in. And all four Hakol plays the forward. Here's Jonathan Lynch. Chance. He's put it just wide. And there you go. That's what Hakol are waiting for. That's why they've been maintaining that discipline in defense. Paulson with a good vision. To see the run of his teammate, and Lynch could not add to his tally for this evening's game. Into the final four minutes now. And off, out, off Kobe New. Paulson appealing for and getting the kick in before he takes his lead for now to be replaced by Emmanuel Janikas. And Janikas immediately into action, both Emmanuel and Samuel. Clearance from Katambis. Reed. Samuel Janikas. Back to Perego. Scooped up, and Magic, have they won it high? Guerrero, I think, well, he, needed, he definitely needed to do something there, otherwise Hakoa would have had two running in on the keeper, so clearance into the Hakoa bench, probably the best option there. There's Reed, one-on-one -on -one with Guerrero, second defender coming. And he can't pick out a teammate. Jaden Dunn. Now Fowler. Three minutes left. Dunn playing it back to Dib. A test of patience for both teams. And for Magic, as they look, as they look to unpick the lock. Plenty of touches. And Harkawa standing firm as Guerrero shoots and is saved. And for Harkawa, a situation like this, the ultimate test of discipline, not just in terms of restricting the space, but of course they are on five fouls. The next one will be a 10 meter penalty. But here's a Harkawa attack. Guerrero sliding tackle up in a flash and leading the attack. Guerrero, pass Reed. Can he keep it in? He does. It's a chance. What a tackle. Not sure who that was, but it's probably a goal saving tackle. This Hakol, but go back the other way. Here's Reed. Shoots. And he did blocks. Apologies. Not sure who that was that saved the day for Hakol at one end, but that was a proper body on the line tackle. And a slight collision with the post as well, but thankfully he's okay to continue. A minute and 57 seconds left. Extra time has been the theme of the day. Four games previous, four grand finals previous to this going to extra time. Will we see a fifth? Now, Lynch pays it. It's off the post. Off the post from Samuel Janikas. Couldn't double his tally for today. What a run from Lynch. Just took them all on. The reverse pass as well. Samuel Janikas millimeters away from giving Hakoa a 3-2 lead. 
Jet McHugh Shaw is back on in number 17. As is Connor Hewitt in number three. Haddad bounces it back to Hewitt. Jaden Dunn. Back to Dunn. Haddad holding off Reed. Now Dunn. And it's the no back left shot. But very safe hands from Felich. As they have been for the entirety of this final series. Has to be said. Another good... Another excellent goalkeeping performance from Hakol's number one. 78 seconds to go. Haddad turns and scores! Anthony Haddad with yet another goal. That's 24 for the season. He got the room that he's been waiting for the entire game. And the shot was unerring. Low past the keeper. Nothing he could do about that. It is Mount Magic 3, Eastern Suburbs Hakoa 2. With a minute and 15 seconds left to play. And that has resulted in Hakoa using their timeout for the second half. What a magnificent strike. And Haddad, he's had to be patient today. So Mark Tightly, sometimes a one player. More often in this game by two or even three players. But when he got the space to turn, he made no mistake. And is he the hero for Mountain Magic? We've got 75 seconds left. But that, that is going to be, feel like an eternity as Magic try to hold on to the lead and secure the trophy. And uh, 75 seconds is a lot of time in futsal. Now... And there's the possibility Hakoa might go to the power play. Might play with an extra attacker and pull the keeper out of the goal. And it's the situation where you'd see it. Adam Paulson is wearing a different colored jersey, so I think that is exactly what we're going to see. And Noel Felich standing up, so I think Noel Felich is going to try and be the goalkeeper when they're in defense. But Adam Paulson, and you see him in the blue jersey, the extra attacker now that Hakoa have to throw the kitchen sink at this with a minute and 15 seconds left to play. Here we go. Now it's Mountain Magic who have to maintain their shape and discipline. Hakoa looking for the perfect shot. Mount Magic possibly looking for the turnover and the goal to seal this. Now Paulson. Can't hold it up. But Hockle is going for goal. He's hit the big net behind the goal. So Hakoa kicking on halfway. Hockle saw the chance to get a goal in the grand final. 51 seconds left. The net has denied him. Although, I suppose that trajectory on the ball, that might have gone over in any case. We'll never know. Paulson again. Magic's job. Of course, they're outnumbered now. Lynch shoots, parried, loose ball, falls to Dunn, and Jaden Dunn, has he scored? No, he has not. Agony for the Magic fans behind the net. They thought it was going in. 30 seconds left. Felic. Now Felic trying. Well, in fact, he tried to make the sub. I didn't. They couldn't make the sub in time. And now Felic is trying to get Paulson onto the field. And whose ball is it? 28 seconds left. Magic ball. And Dib just gets it. Dib, Jamie Dib was like me with adult responsibilities there. Get it as far away from me as possible. 25 seconds to go. Long throw from Felix and it runs through to Kartambis. Kartambis, I think, is just go. That's just safety first. 18 seconds left. Could be the last chance saloon for Hakoa. Matt Magic 18 seconds away from three grand final victories in the one day in the one day following on from the under 14 boys in the open women's the tackle for Cotter Hewitt almost ended up in the net now 13 seconds to go it's got to be quick whatever it is great dummy Janikas big chance goal Samuel Janikas he scored again and it looks like we're going to extra time what a brilliant finish he kept his cool exactly when he needed to, and he scored with 9.1 seconds left on the clock. 
It's a grand final double for Samuel Janikas, just like the double he scored yesterday. What a brilliant finish. And the patience has paid off for Harkoa. That's what they tell you. 75 seconds is a long time in futsal. It was long enough for Harkoa to find the equalizer. Jet McHugh Shaw, it's not much time left. Yep, this one's going to extra time. So, Justin Smith, your feeling was right. We're going to need six more minutes of futsal to find a winner in the 2023 Futsal Premier League Men's Grand Final. It is 3-all at the end of regulation between Eastern Suburbs, Hakoa and Mountain Magic. Just a quick recap of the six goals we've seen today. Christopher Barbera opened the scoring for Mountain Magic before Jonathan Lynch equalised. And that was 1-all at half-time. Samuel Janikas put Hakoa 2-1 up in the 29th minute. Jamie Dib equalised for Mountain Magic a minute later. Anthony Haddad scored in the second to last minute of normal time to put Magic 3-2 up. But as we just saw, Samuel Janikas scoring with nine seconds left on the clock to force extra time. The extra time rules, by the way, three minutes each way. So two halves of three minutes, no golden goal or anything like that. It's just standard extra time, if that makes sense. If we do need penalties, it'll be five penalties each, just like in outdoor. So I suppose there won't be much of a break, so I suppose there's the opportunity to recap games that have happened earlier today. So in the Open Women's Grand Final, just before this one, it was Mount Magic winning by two goals to one. That went to extra time as well. Goals from Ella Buchanan and Claire Holder giving them a 2-1 win over MacArthur Quake. And actually a big shout out to Justin Davies for his updates from the Futsal Premier League 2 Grand Finals. Those, of course... Will be also be available on the same channels on which you're watching this one, the Football New South Wales Facebook page and the Football New South Wales YouTube page. Actually, no. Sorry. Oh my, God. my Justin's mixed up. Justin Smith giving me the scores there. Congratulations to South Coast Taipans. They've done the double. The open, the open age double in Futsal Premier League 2. Their women's team defeated Apia Leichhardt by four goals to two. Sorry, Apia Futsal. Apia FC Futsal by four goals to two. And the Taipans men's team defeated Raiders Futsal by three goals to one. So now Matt Magic trying to emulate what Taipans have done and win both Open Age Grand Finals. And Hakoa, I mentioned Hakoa winning, winning the men's Grand Final four years ago my four goals to three and the Eastern Suburbs team has played their part in another dramatic encounter we're back underway for the first period of three minutes of extra time of course just a reminder as Barbera's on the move so is Fowler for Magic it was Fowler Fowler back to Guerrero reminder the foul count carries over from the second half Hakoa still on five fouls. Magic still on four. Next Hakoa foul is a 10-meter penalty. Fowler just lets that run out of play. So the attention for multiple defenders getting the job done for Hakoa. Now, Manuel Janikas and shepherded out by Jamie Dib. Of course, he's got to be careful. He's on a yellow card. One. But no questions about that challenge. Now, good touch from Dib, and Dib carried up and behind by Felich. Back to Dib. And Dib again. Barbera. Dib gets another touch. Now Guerrero. Uh, trying to find the space in between those four Hakoa defenders. 
Thanks, as it was from much of the second half. Akoa making Magic think about how to approach this. Now there's Guerrero, no backward on that. I think it was a left foot toe poke, and it was saved by Felic. So foul, a good target play there to set up the chance for his captain. A minute and 39 seconds left in the first half of Extra Time. By the way, this is Eric Sabihana. Thanks for joining us on Football News FL Socials. We really hope you're enjoying this game, because I certainly am. Drop of the shoulder from Guerrero. Into the box, and there's the goal! The goal from Christopher Barbera, and the man that opened the scoring today has now scored in Extra Time. It's Eastern Suburbs Sakoa 3, Mountain Magic 4. Another assist for Guerrero. He did brilliantly to make space on the left touch line. And the perfect ball, Barbera, finding space in the circle to smash the ball home. And Hakoa have to come from behind again. And of course, they did it with one minute. They did it with 75 seconds left at the end of regulation. So they've still got four minutes and 23 seconds left. The remainder of the first half plus the three minute period of the second half of extra time, of course. Plenty of time for more goals. But who will they come to if they come? <clears throat> so if the score stays like this, it's another interesting question. One that the Harkoa coach Steve Janica is probably mulling over now. When would they go to the power play? When would they pull the keeper out of the goal? Akoa can't sit back anymore. They've got to be a little bit more aggressive. They're pressing. That's what we're seeing. And that's not a foul. Well, there we go. Adam Paulson's getting ready to come on in the blue jersey. So it's power play time now. 35 seconds to go in the first half of extra time. Plenty of time for them to get a shot, but Akoa's aim certainly to wait for a good one. Now it's loose. And Barbera held down R2 but couldn't get there in time. In fact, it's off Hakoa. So Fowler with a shot. He's hit the crossbar. So close to doubling Magic's lead. And Hakoa survived. 21 seconds left in this period of extra time. Throw down the line. It's Emmanuel Janikis. And, well, this could be a problem. And it's going to be a second yellow card for Jamie Dibb. That means Reds. 16 and a half seconds left in this period of extra time. It's going to be a Hakoa free kick. By the way, the rule is this. Mount Magic will now be shorthanded for the next two minutes of play or uh, if Hakoa score a goal. So if Hakoa score a goal in the next two minutes of play, Magic go back to the full complement of players. And, of course, that's fifth foul. So... Fifth foul, so now... The next fouls by either side will result in a 10-metre penalty, as if it was intense enough. But first, Emmanuel Janikas, the man who won the free kick, now has a chance to bring his team level. So it's like, we well, don't see this too often. And it would be a power play, in a sense, for goal with only four players. But first, it's through the legs, and they won't need it, because Emmanuel Janikas has made it 4 all. He played the psychological game to perfection there. Sends it through the keeper's legs. And Hakoa are level once again. Their third equaliser of this grand final. It's 4-4. And of course, Magic immediately back to the full complement of players. So is Fowler. Keeps it in. Still time for one more chance. Six seconds to go. And Emmanuel Janikas has... Just dribbled it just out of play, I think. Three seconds left in the first half of extra time. For this mass, it's blocked, and that should be that. There's the buff. There's the hooter. Well. Two team swap ends, and then we'll be back on the way. I'm sure the coaches, Brett Hewitt and Steve Janikas, taking whatever quick opportunity they can 
to provide some instructions of what they've seen in extra time. So, I mean, it's not quite the 16-goal grand final with the red card that we saw last year, but we thoroughly enjoyed this. And three minutes is still plenty. There's still enough time for so much drama to happen. Koa's strength of characters definitely been on show in the finals weekend. Haven't given up. They're stuck to the plan. And the plan has put him in this position to win another men's Premier League Futsal Grand Final. It's Guerrero, McHugh Shaw, Dunn and Haddad. And Katambis on the court for Magic as we start the second period of extra time. For Hakoa Felic, Cesar Perego, Emmanuel Janakes, Kobe New and Jonathan Lynch. Too sure. Um, anyway. Great effort by all the players today, no matter what the result. And it's time. And it's a real tiring work out there. But who will be the hero? Who will provide that moment of magic or quiet to give their team the trophy? Great ball by the keeper. He's going to kick in, I think, yeah, it was on the other side of the field. You know, diagonal there. I don't often see that in futsal. Now, Guerrero read that like the Sydney Morning Herald. Could be away here, but I call back in defense quickly. Done with a left footed effort. Caught. Now, turnover. Jaden Dunn has Haddad to his right. Goes to Haddad. Two defenders on him. Guerrero! Missed. He sends that too high. And two minutes and 19 seconds left. An extra time. As things stand, we're going to penalties. But will someone make sure we don't need the penalty shootout? Haddad has done in support. But now Guerrero. Good ball by Guerrero. Done. Looking for Haddad. And Emmanuel Janikis. The score of the latest equalizer. Now defending well. As Haddad, that's blocked. Another chance. Guerrero. Two footed player. Wanted it back on his right foot, and Jaden Dunn smashes that into the wall. He needed that. Otherwise, Lynch would have been a one on one with Kartambis, the got magic goalkeeper. A minute and 53 seconds left. Reed and almost saw Emmanuel Janikas and Katamas a little bit of a bobble, but all's well that ends well from a magic perspective. As Lynch wins the ball's high, ball high, but it's another restart with the keeper. 95 seconds left. Haddad on the half turn. Reed with the foot in. Adam Paulson back on the field in the white jersey now. Could his speed be something that unlocks? Things for Harkoa. Jaden Dunn in the position at the far post. Her dad's and oh, a bit of a breakdown in communication there. So Paulson with room to run. Paulson goes right and leaves play on the floor. Adam Paulson, oh, I slipped at the vital moment. And Guerrero trying to take it back the other way. Clean as a whistle from Lynch. Needed, especially when you're on five fouls. And that's stop that counter attack. Now. Haddad looking for Guerrero, might roll and shoot. Now the playoff well, shot goes wide. Now Samuel Janikas on a hat trick, of course. He lunges. Now it's always going to be difficult to score from there. 57 seconds left. Paulson, options either side. Samuel Janikas, little toe poke. And Paulson, still Paulson. Now Haddad could be through on goal here. It's, he's been sent a bit wide, Paulson defending. Clean as a whistle. That tackle. 42 seconds left. Now 
Kushaw. Long range effort. Blocked. Now, Kushaw and Dunn. Touchline nearest to us. And who does that come off? It's Hakoa Ball. So people have to rush back now. Samuel Janikis. Another going on another run. Great ball. His Lynch across the circle. Couldn't find the teammate for a tap in. Lynch again. Emmanuel Janikis. And it's wide with 24 seconds left. Come on. The most important 24 seconds of futsal for the season, perhaps. Magic might try to ensure that it's one last chance that goes again. Burst of speed from Dunn. The two number fours going at it. Tackle from Reed. Maybe chance for Hako with 10 seconds to go. McHugh Shaw tackles. Done. Now McHugh Shaw. McHugh Shaw. Good save. It doesn't break for Fowler. There's 3.3 seconds to go. So one pass and a shot, you would think. Guerrero. Guerrero cuts inside. Here he is. Guerrero blocked. And that will be that. We're going to have a penalty shootout beside the 2023 Open Men's Futsal Premier League champion. These two teams could not be split after 40 minutes of futsal plus extra time. And now, the ultimate test of nerve to decide this year's champion. Well, time for myself and today's camera operator, Jaden, to take a bit of a break. All right, yes. Once again, six minutes of extra time proved to be enough time for both teams to find the back of the net. And it was a little quick recap of that. Christopher Barbera putting Mountain Magic 4-3 up, but in the manual Janikas free kick a minute later, brought the score back to 4 all. Earlier in regulation time, Mountain Magic's goal scorers, Christopher Barbera again, and Jamie Dibb and Anthony Haddad. Wow, Hakawa's goal scorers in regulation. Hakawa's goal. Okay, well, we'll just take a little bit of a break. Jaden needs to switch batteries. It's gone on for that long. We'll take a short break and then we'll be back for you. Now, referee, before we go, the referee's just going to have a chat to both the keepers. Just letting them know they're keeping an eye and making sure they don't encroach. But Mount Magic are going to go first, and no surprises to anyone that's watched this team play before. Jordan Guerrero, the captain, is going to be the first spot kick taker. So Guerrero against Felic. Here we go. Saved! Saved by Felic. He went the right way. And the first advantage to Hakoa in the shootout. But they still need to convert their first one to have an actual advantage. But good psychological start from Hakoa. James Reed going first for Eastern Suburbs. So Reed against Katambis. James Reed, here's the whistle and shoots, and it's it's that's the rule. It's gone in. Well, how unlucky can you be? Vassos Kartambis got his hands to it. He came off the crossbar, off his body, and rolled in. So Hakoa leading 1 0 in the shootout. So it's Anthony Haddad. Take Magic's second kick. Yeah. Top bins it. Totally unsavable. Magic are on the board in the shootout. One all. Emmanuel Janikas next. Scored with the dead ball already. It's his free kick that made it four all and took us to the shootout, really. Now Emmanuel Janikas to have a, sh have a ping from a little bit closer. Long run up. Here we go. And it's saved. It stays at one all in the shootout. Kartambis comes up big. So 
One goal each, and both keepers have saved one each. <coughs> Chris Barbera. No, this won't count as a hat-trick if he converts. But still a chance to find the back of the net for the third time this game. Here's Barbera. And same corner that Haddad hit. Another unsavable one. So Magic now leading in the shootout for now. And it's going to be Fabio Vieira Field. With the responsibility of Hakawa's third spot kick. It's Fabio and sends the keeper the wrong way. Excellent spot kick. And the team still can't be split. Corby Fowler next for Mountain Magic. And Fowler again, a third consecutive penalty into the top right hand corner as Magic see it. Fowler's done his job. So it will be the other number five, Cesar Perego. And it's in. Just about. Katambis tried to make himself as big as possible, but it has gone in. Now it is effectively sudden death. It's the fifth set of penalties, but basically from now on, if one team scores and the other misses, it's all over. Jaden Dunn is up. It's saved by Felic. Wasn't fooled by the stutter step. It's a big celebration. Hakoa are one kick away from winning the 2023 title. And it's going to be Adam Paulson. The New Zealand international. He'd be used to high pressure. Biggest kick of the season coming up. Adam Paulson to win it for Eastern Suburbs Harkoa. And Paulson, it's saved. So we're going to sudden death officially. Katambis. That was massive. It's been really a season of great goalkeeping and Katambis and Felix demonstrating that in the shootout. Now, Robson, Aparacido, De Souza. Saved again. Brilliant stuff from Noah Felic. His third save of the shootout. So it's another chance for Hako to win it through Jonathan Lynch. There's Lynch. He scored Hako's first goal here. Can he win it? He does. Jonathan Lynch has given Eastern Suburbs Hakoa the 2023 Open Men's Futsal Premier League Championship in the most dramatic fashion. The penalty shootout went to sudden death and the man who scored Hakoa's first goal of this game has finished it. Hakoa are going to be lifting the trophy in a few minutes' time. A huge celebration. The trophy is going back to the eastern suburbs. What a dramatic way to end the season. And what a dramatic way to end a season that has brought the drama every single week. How do we recap this? Well, let's start from the start. It was Mountain Magic who opened the scoring through Christopher Barbera, and that man, Jonathan Lynch, equalized. In the second half, Samuel Janikas gave Hako a lead. Jamie Dibb equalized. Within a minute, Anthony Dad thought he'd given Mountain Magic the win in the second to final minute of regulation time, but a last-minute equalizer from Samuel Janikas took it to extra time. Christopher Barbera gave Mountain Magic the lead in extra time. Emmanuel Janikas equalized a minute later. That's how he went to penalties. And how about that? Everyone, to me, everyone's a hero out there with the effort they put in. But Noah Felich, the Hakoa keeper with three saves in the shootout, and Jonathan Lynch keeping his nerve to convert the winning penalty. Eastern Suburbs Hakoa doing what they did in 2019, winning the Open Man's New South Wales Futsal Premier League Championship. Uh, just got to say a bunch of brief thank yous before we sign off. Finally, we sign off the coverage for all the football New South Wales seasons in 2023 as there's a big celebration right in front of us. The first person we have to thank, of course, Justin Smith, who's been very helpful when I've been researching this and has done a great job covering Futsal Premier League.
both men's and women's for the last two seasons. You can see his reports of both the Open men's and the Open women's grand final. They'll be up on the Football New South Wales Futsal Facebook page later this evening. But, of course, the one man we have to thank. Also, by the way, th thanks to Jaden Smith for once again doing an excellent job filming. And he's done a great job all year throughout our various competitions. But the one man we have to thank more than anyone else is Football New South Wales media manager, the man they call the Golden Greek, Mark Stavrilakis, for organising everything and keeping us in check. I don't know how he does it. Thanks so much, Stav.